Oh, by the way, we build the pyramid. <laughs> no. None of that. In fact, the archaeologists say not only that the pyramids built, uh, that the Egyptians built the pyramids, but they say that they built them as tombs. Okay. What's the evidence? Zero. Zilch. Not one not one pyramid was ever found to host a mummy. Not one mummy was ever found in a pyramid. Not one. And I'm not just talking about Egypt. I'm talking about all around the world. And it's funny because you know how they do all these like historic, you know, history channel and all this stuff. You know, they have all these nice documentary. And they show you where they found the pyramids and the you know and the and the tombs and all this and Tutankhamen and all this, and then they splice and they cut directly into the pyramids. So you think the mummies were found in the pyramids, but in fact the mummies were found. Most of the king's mummies were found in the king's valley, far from the pyramids. Some of the pyramids. They had to dynamite their way into the pyramid. They couldn't find an entrance. When they got inside the pyramid, there was the sarcophagus, the so-called sarcophagus in the middle. It had a slab. Some of them had slabs that were like 40 tons slabs sealing the sarcophagus. They would unseal it pull the slab off, still no mummy. What was their conclusions? Grave robbery. <laughs> Those grave robbers, they were unbelievable. They, they just walked through the walls because they had to dynamite their way in. So the, those grave robbers got there before. They must have walked through the walls got in there, picked up the 40-ton slab on top of the sarcophagus, pulled all the stuff out, including all the bones and everything else, which, you know, wonder what they would do with, and then, you know, closed it back up, resealed it, right, just to make sure they didn't disturb anything, and then <laughs> walked back out with all of this stuff. This doesn't make sense. Now, there's other things that don't make sense. There is nowhere on these pyramids that it says, I built this for my tomb. I was born then and I died then. You think if you built such a great monument, at least you put your name on it. <laughs> there's no hieroglyphs inside the pyramid. And Lord knows that the Egyptians put aeroglyphs everywhere. Mm -hmm. So why didn't they not write inside the pyramids? You know, so those are all huge contradiction to the concept that the Egyptian or the Mayans or the Incas or the Chinese or so on build their pyramids. <coughs> you know, that's all logical. Pyramids were not tombs. Pyramids were not built by Egyptian. No Egyptian text talks about the Egyptian building the pyramids. The texts do talk about monuments, enormous monuments being built. And who they say built them was the sun god. The Mayans, the Incas, the Chinese, the Japanese, all cultures that have these buildings, none of them say we built it. All of them say the sun gods taught us how to build, how to talk, how to write, how to do all this stuff. This is an ancient, ancient symbol that was found on a granite pillar in uh, Abydos. Egypt in a temple called the Osarian Temple. Why is it that this object, this drawing, which is on the 
hundred ton pink pillar in the middle of that temple is not in any picture books or history books anywhere or archaeologic books anywhere it took me 10 years of research to go through all the books that were written on the Azarian temple from the first papers that were published from the archaeologists that found the temple to eventually you know all the papers and the books that were written none of them had this picture in it the way I got this picture is that a friend of mine went out there and took it okay why is it that this picture is not in there I'll tell you why because this graphic is not carved into the rock it's not etched into the <laughs> rock this graphic is actually burnt laser burnt into the atomic structure of that pillar now when you think of ancient civilization 5,000 years ago you don't expect them to be doing laser burn on you know hard surfaces at high levels of accuracy okay archaeologists have a really hard time explaining these things when they can explain something usually the tendency is not to popularize it so they leave it out some of these uh, symbols that are in the Arzarian temple there's a, there's no writing in all of that temple not one piece of writing all there is is these things there's a few of them some of them are chipped well the laser burn is through the rock so that actually even if you chip it it still appears on the rock we have no current technology to reproduce this that's why you don't find this in history books the other thing is that the Azarian temple is 50 feet below all the other temples at Abydos the archaeologists tried to say oh the Egyptian dug 50 feet and then started building well, the Egyptian never did that to any other building. And actually, when the geologists went there, they went, no, that's not the case. The building was there and sedimentation piled up beside it. Well, when they calculate how long it would take to get 50 feet of sedimentation, that temple is no longer four to five thousand years old that temple is nine to twelve thousand years old maybe ten thousand years old that's why archaeologists really don't like that temple <laughs> in fact they very rarely discuss it the sphinx most people think that the sphinx is built the Sphinx is not built. The Sphinx was carved. Uh, the Sphinx was carved right out of the enclosure of the Giza Plateau. Now, when you look at the paws of the Sphinx, you might notice that there's like brick-like structures on it, so it looks like it's built. Those are repairs that were done later in history. But the Sphinx was carved, and actually there's evidence that the head of the Sphinx was recarved. It used to be a lion's head, but it was recarved into um, a pharaoh's head by one of the pharaohs. However, there is erosion patterns on the Sphinx that is a telltale sign that the Sphinx had to be carved when there was a lot of rain uh, hitting it because of the erosion on it we know when the last time this area had a lot of rain